Good afternoon. This is my second uh, video today. I thought I would honor my promise and show you how to make some birds and whales and even a seal, which is what I use to make little knobs on top of my jars and teapots and things. So, so here you go. Just watch if you can stop falling asleep doing this one. Poobelle is my cat over there. A bit too much there. I'm going to do the seal first. This is that uh, 516 Pottery Supply House clay. So it's basically, I've got some drawings there. So I'm kind of copying my own little sketches. When the clay is really soft, you have to kind of come back to it a little bit later on and uh, finish up what you're doing. I haven't made seals for a while, so I'm kind of going to learn this one as I go, I guess. Now clay this soft shouldn't really need much to stick it together. We actually have seals that come up in the water out there sometimes. It'll be uh, sometime in late May and early June, really, when the mackerel start running in here. Um, and if you were in Florida, you'd see mackerel and you'd say, there's a pretty big fish. But up here, they're just pretty small fish because they haven't grown yet. I think they get spawned somewhere in this area up here and then they go swimming off to Florida eventually. So when this firms up a little bit, I will be able to make it look a little bit more detailed, but that's your basic seal. So basically just a long, and I'm going to have to flatten out the flippers, and I'll put a few little marks to the, I don't want to do it too much, I usually do this on a piece of paper so it doesn't stick to the wheel head. There you go. So I've got to put eyes in him and various other things whiskers, little cheeks, and maybe a little nose. So the next one, it's a bird. It's a plane. It's Superman. But this is a bird. So is that too big for the bird? I think that's a little big, actually. So I'll just rip some off. So most of all this stuff just starts from a coil. It takes me longer to do these than it does the actual jaw that I throw. So hand ornamental kind of things that you're doing, if you're doing this to make a living, these kind of things are really going to raise the price of your item quite a lot. I don't have a sketch of a bird, but I have one I made the other day, so. So it was basically a thick coil, thinned at one end, and then worked on just with fingertips to come up with a kind of head shape. And then the tail thinned out, and I've got to make a couple of wings in a minute. Birds I actually have every day just sitting out on the window there. Oh, you can't really see the window too well. It's a still very rainy and gray. We've had 
two days of rain and storm sort of wind. So let's go for, let's see, a bit more than that. So I roll the coil, thin it out. I try and make it so the wings are symmetrical. Now I'm doing these two kind of separately, but I'll show you another way of doing this actually, which kind of makes it easier. So I've now started it this way. Actually, after I started doing this for a while, I discovered a slightly better and easier way to do this. needs to be thinned out a bit down there. So I've got two wings. So if I did that, we made the wing again. This time I'm leaving it a little thicker. And then <coughs> I have this fancy tool here. I wet it before I do this, and then try to cut right down the center. So now my wings are identical, but they also have a nice pattern on the inside, which will be mostly destroyed when I put attach it to this, but um, those wings are a little bit big actually. so. but you can always cut things down. So put one on one side, one on the other. I did a little bit of water on there. Make sure they're sort of symmetrical. And the wings on a bird's back tend to be fairly flush. at the top area. This is an old brush and often the older the brush the nicer it is. So I've kept it it's years old but the, the bristles are mostly gone except it left it going to a kind of nice point. So most of those lines have disappeared now that I got from that pattern, but I can actually put them back. I have another tool. This one has, here you go, so to judge the angle with, I think, little grooves in it, so I can actually Drag it down. Should be wet when you do that. It slides easier if it's a little wet. So I gave myself some lines back on. And now I'm just gonna re redefine that little edge up there a little bit because I smoothed it away a bit too much. Let's give him a, make his head look a little prouder. And we'll pull his, give him a little few tail feathers. And a 
lost one of my, oh there it is. This is an old pen that I just used to put a couple of eyes in there. I know it, oh, it's really hard to get them in the same position, that wasn't too bad. Just give them a little, define that eye there a little bit better. I don't want him to be mean so I don't put the eye looking down. And then just give yourself a line for the beak. Define the actual. You see? When I position this on top of the lid, I've still got some work to do. You know, because it'll get, it's a bit bendy at the moment, but I'll put some more you know, the feathers in the foreground of his chest. And the last one is a whale. Now we've never seen a whale in the water out there. You know, so I can show you the water in a minute. Just beyond where Poobel is eating at the moment, there's a, the water's right out there. Getting the body size of the whale is the most important thing. The back is, is fairly flat and the belly kind of curves up from underneath. Yeah, we, we just got the new, new, new uh, COVID-19 cases for Nova Scotia came in today. Only 17 new cases. Um, so it's been going down this week from, I think it was 50 some at the beginning of the, or end of last week. Um, and now we've had two days of decline, 20 some yesterday, 17 today. So maybe we're past the peak. I hope you do. I hope you guys are wherever you're listening from. I hope you're doing the same. Okay, that's a body. Now I could probably use these for the whale, so nothing goes to waste. There's always a lot of reshaping and stuff when you're doing sculpture. You're never going to get it exact straight away. Now I do do regular knobs on my jars a lot of the time like I said you know this adds a lot to the price of something if you can sculpt something let's make my tail yeah the winds coming up now Unless you're using paper underneath it, just be careful it doesn't stick to your wheel as you press down. So I'm moving it to a dry place each time. wet my blade then so when I cut in there it will come out. If you hear my cat making a coughing noise she's 
always had this kind of respiratory thing her whole life. She's 10 years old. But it, we joke that she smokes cigars when we go home at night. She stays here all night on her own. She used to be a house cat, but she just hates other cats. And we have other cats at the house. and So she was in bad shape for a while. She would strike out at everybody, and then we're eventually when they figured out that she's all bark and no bite, they picked on her. So we brought her here, and she's very happy now. Sponges there, so we don't actually de destroy what I've done at the other end. All right, so you get the gist of it. A nice little whale, and there's one I just with the tail up, so you can place them on top of your pieces any way you want. No, I'm just recording a video. There we go. And then basically put in your little smile of your whale. Yeah, we actually have, my wife was just coming into the room there, so we have a bakery right next door to us here, um, which we're very lucky to have, and they're, they're closed for restaurant type things, but they're still open for pickup at the, so we're in good shape for bread and baked goods. My mother is in England, and they have a hard time getting bread, flour, and yeast. put the little eye in. The end of a pen is really neat for putting the eyes in. And there's the whale, which will be repositioned later on. As you can see from the jaw there. All right. I promised and I delivered. Okay. Thanks very much for listening and watching. Bye.